Today, I was finally able to run a recovery run at recovery run paces, and boy, did I need it. Ten point six miles today, eight minutes fifty eight seconds per mile average pace over that distance. Uh, significantly slower than I've been running, and my body definitely needed it. Uh, my body probably needed a complete day off, uh, but I wanted to meet up with uh, Kevin, who I've run with before. He's one of the inaugural members of the Kofuzi Run Club. We've been meaning to get back together for another run for a couple of weeks now. Then I suddenly had to travel. Then he was traveling, I think, uh, for work. The schedules just didn't line up. Uh, we finally got together today. It turned out both of us needed a recovery run. Me because I had hit the track the day before and I've just been putting in a lot of miles and I just can't keep up the pace. And he had run the uh, Rock and Roll Half Marathon on Sunday. And he's probably one of the only people that I know that had uh, a good day that day. He ran a PR, hit one hour, 26 minutes uh, for his final time, which is an amazing time. He, I, I told you guys earlier, if you watched the last video, he is a lot faster than I am. Uh, so it was nice of him to uh, slow down for me today because I just definitely needed a little bit of a slower pace. Our first couple of miles started out really slow, like nine minutes, 20 seconds per mile or so, gradually kind of increasing as things kind of like loosened up and we got some of the, uh, got some of the kinks out. Uh, but it was nice to be able to run. I think probably the only way that I can run a recovery run at like actual recovery paces is probably to run at a conversational pace while having a conversation with another person. So uh, that's something that I'm gonna probably be looking to do a little bit more often. Uh, I've been enjoying running with more people. Uh, that's been a really good thing. I think for me, as I'm trying to get more miles in and uh, just also trying to be a, a little bit smarter about my training. Now my running is gonna be a little bit more focused as we go forward and start looking at like half marathon training and into marathon training. Um, I'm gonna be looking at thinking about some tempo runs, thinking a little bit more about those track runs, uh, and thinking about you know making sure my hard days are hard and my easy days are easy. Uh, and that's gonna mean that some days I have to run slow. Um, took the Pegasus out, uh, turbos out with me today for the run. I found myself today on the recovery run with the slower pace, um, kind of fighting the shoe a little bit. It, kept, it keeps wanting to lean me forward so that I can keep going fast. And I just wanted to kind of lean back uh, and take it a little bit easier. And so on a low and slow day, I'm not sure that this is the shoe that I will be reaching for. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go for another run. I'm gonna try to put in another, uh, probably I, I I might do, might cut it short a little bit, do like the seven and a half mile loop. Um, but depending on how I'm feeling, maybe I'll do the 10 mile loop. Uh, Saturday, really excited for Saturday. Uh, my running buddy he has been cleared for running. Uh, and so he's getting back into it again. We're gonna go for a run. I haven't run with him, I think since 2017. We might've gotten together for a run. I think we ran once one other time earlier in the spring, but it's been at least several months. So looking forward to that. Uh, that's coming up this weekend and um, just gotta grind it out. Gotta put in the miles and uh, put the shoe through its paces. Ultimately, the goal is to get to that 100 mile mark uh, by August 1st or even earlier so that way I can post the video of my final thoughts uh, before you guys have to uh, either go to the store on August 2nd to pick up yours and figure out what size you want and if you even want it. So to get to 100 miles uh, before in the time that I need to so that way I could still also have time to edit a 100 mile video. Uh, I think I have today is the 26th. So I have the 27th, 8th, 9th, 10th uh 31st 
and then maybe the first. So five or six days to run another about 40 miles. Uh, that's pretty doable. I can do that, except for the fact that I've just run like 55 miles in the last, 55 or 56 miles in the last uh, five days. And so at some point I need a rest day. Um, at some point I'm gonna need to take it a little bit easier because I just don't think I can run like 100 miles in 10 days. Uh, that is just a lot for me because um, ultimately uh, the finish line for me isn't August 1st it isn't that 100 miles the finish line for me is uh, being able to run a marathon later this year uh, so got to keep that the overall big picture uh, in mind in other news we've been talking a lot about uh, zoom fly rumors lately one like other little thing that I'll kind of throw out there in the video a couple days ago I mentioned the chart that they have uh, which shows like the the 35, the turbo, the zoom fly, and the zoom uh, vapor fly 4%. And on the first day that I mentioned it, it listed the react, it, it listed the zoom fly as having uh, a react midsole, and that kind of had my uh, imagination going wild. Um, that was on July 23rd. And then we, of course, I later found out that there is React Foam in it. I guess there always has been React Foam in it, and that's encased in the Lunar Lawn. So I guess technically that's not incorrect for them to say it. But two days later, I looked at the same exact chart, and the Zoom Fly now says that the midsole is Lunar Lawn. So someone went in there and changed it, whether they were correcting an error or uh, doing something else because maybe they didn't want anyone to see that I was React yet. Maybe that graphic wasn't supposed to quite come out in that way yet. Uh, that's just purely uh, conjecture and speculation, uh, but it's fun to kind of just uh, think about in that way. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. All the comments uh, have been really great to hear from you guys and hear what your guys' thoughts are. So I thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?